Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Today I'm gonna show you how to create group channel tracks and also FX channel tracks in Cubase R5. So what you do is uh, on your desktop, go to where your Cubase is located, like mine, my Cubase is right here. So just uh, uh, left click, double click it and it's gonna open. Then when Cubase opens, it's gonna open like this like this so when uh it opens when cubase 5 opens just click on uh, empty just don't 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 go anywhere else just uh go on empty and then uh create a folder where you want your vocals to go where you want uh your instrumentals to go just everything that you're going to work on so once you've created your folder what you have to do is just click OK, and then this is gonna is gonna open, and then uh, this side is gonna be empty. Don't worry about this side. I'm gonna show you how to 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 go about it. So the first thing that you have to do is uh, right click and add an audio track. This is gonna be in stereo because this is gonna be your uh, instrumental. So the count has to be one. Uh, configuration has to be stereo. And uh, speakers left and right and then uh, just click OK this is gonna be for your instrumental so quickly let me find an instrumental uh -huh, and I found my instrumental right here so click OK just drag what what I've just done is just dragging my instrumental to to the track stereo track there you have your your um, instrumental now um, you have to create a uh, mono track for vocals your vocals have to be recorded in mono only your your instrument has to be in stereo left and right so you are going to do the same procedure just right click and then go on to go to what it is written add audio track so this time you're going to change the configuration it's going to be mono and speakers is definitely going to change automatically change then the count depends on how many vocals that you're gonna record on that day so let's say you want to record 20 uh, vocals so once you're done on the count just click uh, OK and then uh, these tracks are going to come in the mono tracks during recording uh, there are two options you, you can click the uh, transport record or click star on your keyboard so I'm gonna click the transport record and I'm um, testing uh, how to create groups in Cubase 5 so you have recorded right there then uh, you you now want to send your vocal to your um, to a group channel now how do you create a group channel so what you do is just go down Cubase just go down and then you will find this empty space so what you do is uh, right click and go to where it is written add group channel track so left click and then change uh, this configuration to stereo and then your count it depends with how many let's say uh, you want a separate the chorus to be separate and then the main vocal to be separate so you can uh, put two group uh, channel tracks uh, into your into your mix so you can create two group uh, channels and then once those channels are created, one is gonna be for the chorus and one is gonna be for the main vocal, let's say for the verses. So on the count, you have um, an option of uh, creating as many groups as you want. Let's say you want to have 27 or 30 groups. Uh, you can do that, but for now we are going to stick to two. And then once you're done, just uh, uh, click OK and uh, as you can see we now have group 1 and group 2 one is going to be for the verse main vo vocal and the second one is going to be for the chorus so once that is done you go in the empty space again now what we are going to create are FX 
uh, channel tracks. Basically, you do the same. It is the same procedure. Just um, right click and go where it is written. This time, you're not going to go where it is written, add group channel track. You're going to go where it is written, add FX channel track. So what you do is once you are there, just uh, click on it and then add your effect. And your effect this time is going to be a reverb. There, there you go. We have our reverb. Then we're going to add in, create a second FX channel track, the same procedure. This time it's going to be uh, a delay. So I'm going to pick a stereo delay or anything that you want to use as a delay. And now you have uh, two FX uh, um, tracks. One is going to be for, for the reverb, for more room in order for your vocal to have more room or your vocals to have room and then you're gonna have a delay just to spice up uh, your vocals now how to send this um, let me just uh, uh, duplicate this so that we can have two vocals yeah so let's say you want to send your verse to group one so group one is gonna be for verses so what you do is uh, just highlight click on the audio so 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 that the audio can be highlighted like this and then go to where it is written stereo out output routing so you are going to route this to group one so just um you highlight your vocal like that then you go to where it is written stereo out and then go to where it's written groups and then uh, send your vocal to group one and then just uh, left click so now your vocal your first vocal is sent to group one this has changed to group one instead of stereo it has gone to group one changed to group one then now if you want to send in your chorus to group two the same procedure just uh, highlight your second um your, your 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 second track to and then go to uh stereo out and then do the same thing change it to group two so now this one is going to be in group one this one is going to be in group two the reason why uh, it is necessary to create groups it is because um when you're working in groups it gives you room to work on your vocals more professionally you have time to add um effects to to each vocal and that helps you to to work on your vocal uh, or vocals more effectively so once these are created now we want to add some um, effects to our vocals so let's say you want to add effects to this main vocal just go to to your group and then go to edit channel settings open it up and then start adding let's say you want to add some filters and you want to add more uh you want to add um uh something uh to just work on your vocals and so on and so on and so forth so you've added this now after adding this this side is for inserts and this side is for sends inserts is for uh, these are effects that you 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 want to uh, to 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 put on to your vocals, and this side is your effects. Effects uh, are uh, sends the like reverb and delay. So, how do you do it? You just come on the empty space and then uh, left click and then come on the reverb. You have to turn it on and then the amount depends on how much your vocal wants the reverb or how much you want once you've uh, added in your first send which is the reverb you go to the second one which is uh the stereo delay the delay or the any effect that you had uh chosen to to put in your fx track and once you are done you close it up and this is how it sounds like 
uh, let's say group, uh, this is group one, this is group one, listen to how it sounds like. And um, testing, uh, this is how they sound once you, you put in your, your effects and then the same thing goes to group two, you do the same. You send you, you you put in your sands, you put in your reverb and your you turn them on, you put in your reverb and your delay and this side you put any effects that you want to 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 your vocals and then basically this is the way you do it. This is how you create um group channel tracks and also FX channel tracks so that you can use those FX channel tracks to to your sense in in your groups i hope this video helped you and if this video helped you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and also give me a like see you 